Hi everyone, uh, this is the next video in the series about upvotes and downvotes. As you can see, this um, I'm using the application which I started about following and unfollowing users, then I ended upvotes and downvotes. And I have received a question in a forum uh, asking um, how to implement upvotes and downvotes not for users, but for products of the users or some other entities like posts. So uh, I decided to create this video and uh, I'll be showing how to do that uh, before uh, creating upvotes and downvotes for user posts. Uh, I need to create the post infrastructure by itself. So I'll start doing that in this video. So first of all, let me uh, add a collection. I'll call it posts. And it's pretty simple. So this will be a name uh, ID. I usually use uh, the first property as a technical property to store some unique identifier of the post. So, of course, I will need a text. So, it will be, uh, let's call it post title. Uh, also, uh, for instance, I'm going to use a, a visual uh, graphic post. It will be the post image. Uh, and, of course, I need to add the owner uh, to the uh, to each record. It will be relationship to users. So user can have multiple posts and posts belong only to one user. So this is a minimal uh, database uh, structure which is needed to create posts. So uh, after that, let me start modifying the uh, application itself. So I have users here, a list of users. Uh, of course, uh, this is not uh, the best way to present a, a news feed for the uh, for the app user, but again, this is a technical uh, explanation, so I'm con I'll continue to use this one. Of course, later on I will change it. So uh, let me change this one goes to uh, goes to view profile. So I want to change this icon to uh, like this one, and let me add another icon which will go to the uh, user post page. So it's in buttons this a little bit bigger uh, or maybe now that's too big and it will be for example like this one So uh, this will go to the YouTube user post page, link to a new page, and let's call it uh, posts. Uh, so here I will display the a list of user posts. Uh, I do it uh, based on the custom list because uh, later on we'll need uh, to implement some changes into this list to allow uh, upvotes and downvotes and I'm not sure it's possible to do in the non uh, in a standard list so let me do like this I have title here uh, also let's put an image which will represent the picture which I have or the photo which I have added and okay I have a title and I leave some place to uh, uh, put upvotes, downvotes. So uh, let me configure this list. So it's going to be a list of posts and the filter will be uh, current user posts. So uh, uh, as a consequence, uh, of course, I need to add the database going to be uh, image source. Uh, no, it's not. You see, uh, there's an interesting effect when you are not putting the um, element into the list uh, correctly the first time it's not uh, in the list and to check that this element is in the list it's better to have list a little bit put a little bit longer to the bottom so uh, that uh, you see that it's reproduced but this is just a small side note so here again uh, database image current post photo and title will be current post title. Uh, okay, and uh, let me add the, uh, change the title of the 
of the uh, app bar. So it will be post of user full name so that we understand who is the author. So, uh, okay, I have created the uh, post list, but also uh, I need to create something to add new post by the user. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add the uh, right icon, uh, the another right icon. And uh, this right icon will be, mm, say, maybe like this. By the way, let's change this one to this as well. And this will uh, go to, uh, this right icon will go to a separate page with a list of all my posts and the, the possibility to add a new one. So it will be add action, link to new screen, and I'll call it my posts. Okay, uh, so I don't really need to uh, create something very different uh, here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this list, move it to this screen. And uh, this will be a list of, again, posts, not uh, current user posts, but logged in user posts. And as you see, it's also current post photo and uh, current post title. Uh, in order to be add, uh, to be uh, able to add the post in this uh, page, uh, let me quickly add the button to create a new post. So I'll put it here. Uh, well, unfortunately, it went to the list, which is not correct. So uh, let's do it a little bit differently. I'll make this list smaller. And after that, I will add the button. So, and with this button, it will be add a new post. And add action, uh, link to a new screen where I add the new post. Uh, it will be add post screen. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, I moved it a little bit incorrectly. Uh, let me recreate this one because I need a model. I need not a regular screen. Link to new screen. It will be a model and I'll call it add new post screen. Okay, here is it. And in this model, I have the uh, window with the title. Add new post. I need to add the image picker here. So here is it. This is the image picker. Usually it's a good practice to uh, make titles a little bit bigger. And uh, I need to add the uh, form, the text input to be able to place a com comment. And two buttons cancel will go blink back. And uh, yeah. OK, we'll create a new post. Uh, so I need to add the action here uh, before linking back. It will be the action of create a new post where name ID, uh, this is a unique identifier. So I'm going to create it out of email and uh, current time formatted as a, without any formatting. So it's unlikely that uh, it will be possible to create uh, two posts by one user at the same second. So title I will take from uh, form input and photo I will take from 
image picker and user will be logged in user. By the way, uh, here I've built the custom uh, add post form. Of course, uh, the, as an alternative, you can use a built-in form. So then you can be sure that there is an image and there is a, a text entered uh, in the in the field uh, because you know, here it will be a bit difficult to check if image is uploaded or not. So uh, let's check this uh, infrastructure, whether it works or not. So let me first uh, log in as a uh, demo user. So, okay, let me add a couple of posts. So add a new post. As you can see, the, there is a different transition here. Uh, I will correct a bit later. So let me add some pictures of the forest. Okay, so, and let me add another post of I'm not sure if this is a real spring forest though, but nevertheless. So, okay, uh, my posts are here. If I log out and log in as another user. So it was, I guess, a demo user one. So let's see. Okay, these are the posts of demo user number one. Uh, okay, so here, last bug fix that the action will be modal. So uh, the infrastructure for uh, post creation and view is ready. And in the next video, I will explain how to implement the upvotes and downvotes. Thank you.